the Subaru Crosstrek is a little SUV with genuine rough terrain specs, has 8.7 creeps of ground freedom, versus 6.2 crawls for contenders like the Mazda CX-3. The 2.0i premium model is the center of three trim levels, over the base model, beneath the Limited. Going premium gets you a calfskin wrapped guiding haggle, and in addition helpful in the winter things like warm seats and a windshield wiper de-icer. The 2018 Crosstrek is new and the second Subaru worked from the new worldwide stage, the related Impreza is the first. The 2.0-liter boxer motor got a back rub and extricated up for extra HP, now 152 at 6,000 revolutions per minute. Pinnacle torque continues as before at 145 pounds to foot however arrives 200 revolutions per minute prior, now at 4,000 revolutions per minute. The manual transmission has 6 speeds rather than 5. A CVT programmed is accessible, as well. Inside, all trims come standard with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Our opinion, the AWD Crosstrek, for its fragment, it is among or at the best with regards to mileage, load space, razor groom and ground freedom. That is Jason Fensk, maker and host of Engineering Explained. What's more, I get his perspective. Those are engineering ideas and substantial ones at that. Moreover, he claims a 2016 Crosstrek and unavoidably has a predisposition. He's additionally determined the 2018 model and thinks about it to his 2016 in the video above. And keeping in mind that what he says is valid, I found the Lodge somewhat loud at interstate rates. There's likewise very little power from the non-turbo 2.0 liter, and the directing and throttle applications are not as exact as different autos in the class. Subaru score is a major in addition to for offering a 6-speed manual with AWD, yet it's a less captivating driving knowledge than I had trusted. By and large, the Honda HRV feels more refined and the Mazda CX-3 more amusing to drive. I revealed to Fensk this and he didn't contend, yet went ahead to state he supposes the Crosstrek is the special case that should be known as a hybrid. I believe it's odd that there are hybrids that can't go rough terrain. I get it, there are individuals that purchase hybrids and don't utilize them rough terrain, however Subaru makes the Crosstrek in a way that you can in the event that you need to. Fensk went on. For instance, the Mazda CX-3 is a great deal of amusing to drive, you could autocross it and have fun, which is odd in light of the fact that it's a hybrid. Be that as it may, it doesn't have any ground leeway. The CX-3 is nearer in that spec to a Subaru Impreza, not the Crosstrek. In a CX-3, you can get AWD, however you don't have ground leeway, so what's the point? It's for individuals who don't take it in the snow, or go romping, or any situation like that. The Crosstrek likewise looks like it. It accompanies coordinated rooftop rails for simple establishment of kayaks or bicycles, or whatever. The Crosstrek isn't the best out and about, where a large portion of us invest the greater part of our energy driving. In any case, in the event that you need the rough picture, or you are one of the not very many who really utilizes a hybrid to traverse less lovely territory, the Crosstrek bodes well. Talking about which, Fensk had one all the more thing to state. My first day with the Crosstrek, I had 80 miles on it, I went to the sandy, rough region, and I thought, man, I've just got 80 miles on the auto and these are enormous rocks. What's more, it's sandy, so poor footing. No issue, I didn't rub once. It's so decent to have something and not stress that I will thrash it. It's really worked for it, I cherish it.